Welcome to my YouTube channel, Knowledge Repair Vlog. On today's video, I will going to replace the main engine LT cooling water temperature controller. By the way, this is our alarm monitoring system where we monitor the condition of our main engine. As you can see that there is a three item in color red, the starting air pressure, control air pressure, and the stern tube temperature. The starting air and the control air was intended to switch off because of the air leak in the system while the stern tube, the PT100 sensor was damaged. Anyway, this is the three temperature controller we have here in the engine control room. These are the following LT cooling water temperature controller, HT cooling water temperature controller, and charged air temperature controller. We have two set of LT cooler for main engine. And that is the LT actuator bulb or the motorized bulb for LT cooler. This is controlled automatically by the LT temperature controller in the engine control room. But if the controller is damaged or malfunction, you can still operate this actuator bulb by turning this handle clockwise or anticlockwise. But before that, you need to press this uh, manual button on this side. This is the main engine HT cooler. We have two set. It also have HT cooler actuator bulb or the motorized bulb. It is also controlled automatically by the HT temperature controller in the engine control room and it can be also controlled manually. And the third one is the main engine charge air cooler. This is main engine charge air actuator bulb or the motorized bulb. This actuator bulb is automatically controlled by the main engine charge air temperature controller inside the control room. And it can also operate manually. As you can see here, the LT cooling water temperature controller and the charged air temperature controller is not working. Recently, we received the delivery for the temperature controller. So today, I will check which temperature controller I will going to replace. So this controller have a number the 4170 it means that this is for the main engine LT cooling water temperature controller. This controller already have a program before the maker sent it to us. Now I'm going to start to remove the defective LT temperature controller. All I need to do is to unplug all the connection at the back of the temperature controller.
I need to unscrew the two lock on the both side in order to remove the temperature controller. Now I'm ready to install the new LT temperature controller. Need to install again the lock screw on both sides. Now, hand tight the locking screw. And now, all I need to do is to plug in all the connection. The wirings are composed of the power supply, 220 volts AC, the wire coming from the sensor from the PT100, and wire going to alarm monitoring system for the alarm, and the last one is the wire going to the actuator bulb or the motorized bulb that I showed before. Now it's switch on and I'm waiting for the startup of the temperature controller.
And now I just pressed OK for the English language. Temperature controller is now working. The 34 degrees is the actual value, while the 32 degrees Celsius is the set point. I just need to reset the alarm by pressing the confirm and then the alarm will disappear. Now it's working so I just need to wait for the delivery of the temperature controller for the charged air. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you are new into my channel, please like, subscribe and click the notification bell. You can share this video and you can leave comment down below. Until next time, keep safe everyone.